South African football fans have experienced yet another disappointing performance from the men's national team. Mule Finteki has admitted failure as Bafana's coach after they lost 2-0 to Sudan, failing to qualify for next year's AFCON. Inevitably, Mulefi's position as coach will come under scrutiny. Should Safa look for an alternative or should the association stick with him? What now for Bafana Bafana and South African football? Well, to help us answer some of these burning questions, I'm now joined by former coach Augusto Palacios. He's on the line now. Very good morning to you, coach. I don't even know where you'll begin answering this question, but what is it that Bafana Bafana continue to get so terribly wrong? Good morning. Well, it's, it's very difficult because in, in football preparation, organization and planning is very important. Um, I think the, the negative aspect was when we draw Ghana and home. There, it put very difficult the qualification because we know when we go to Sudan, it's going to be very, very, very tough. Mm. And this is the consequence when also um, some of the players... Uh, and I always say that like some of the players he can play for the national team and some of the players he can play only in the club level. Because to, to play in the national team is a very, very high level uh, 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 position. And some of the players also not perform in this game. You must understand something. Uh, when coming to selection, the coach need to look in local and overseas player. But sometimes in both sides, you expect a lot of things from, from players who, who play in the PSL, yeah. but it's not happy yeah. when we play against Sudan. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the coach, um, as you mentioned. Uh, coach Nzeki admitted after the match that he had failed. Now, when the coach of a national team admits to failing, does it mean that he's no longer the right person for the job? Okay, listen, be honest, he, he spoke all we have because he was very sad and he was failed to qualify mm. for AFCON. And obviously, he's well, he was honest because uh, disappointing the player he select also need to check about his uh, technical thing. He was supporting him in the knowledge for, for the game. Because remember, uh, uh, in the national team, you need a great experience. You need a great experience from the coach himself and from his technical team. And obviously, by his word, was very disappointed because he selected the players from, from the performance he believed that he going to do the job, and he not do the job. And then it's very difficult. Mm. And we observe, we observe clear, the Sudan was more hungry than us. Sudan was fighting, he was dying the field for the country. Until us, really, he was not looking like this. Yeah, we missing some... A chance, but from the beginning of the game, Sudan looked like he wanted to win the game, and our players is not, not looking like this. Yeah. Keeping in mind, um, Coach Palacios, that next year is a World Cup year, what needs to happen now in terms of maybe changing the technical team completely, bringing in more players? And you yourself, as someone who's got an academy, someone who's always uh, taken the issue of development so seriously, are we doing enough in terms of developing players for the national team? I don't think so. Because if we remember very clear for all the country, not to copy for, for all the country, in case, for example, Germany will win the last Olympics game in Brazil, he was seven players from this Olympic who went direct to the senior team, to the national team, and he's still there. I mean, the problem here is no continuity. It's no continuity for the national team, you can say, and the 17, and the 20, and the 23. And the problem in South Africa, we had one. A point who, who I don't want to agree when we're talking young player when he's 20 or 21. Young player when you have 17, 18 years, 19 years. Mm -hmm. And what the country doing? But in South Africa, the more difficult thing is young player is always when he passes 20 years. And we need to change this perception because we had a great talent in this country. We had a great talent. Why the Olympics and the, and the 23 qualify for the 23? How many players from the Olympics is in the national team? This, this we need to look in this aspect, not to criticize any coach or any technical team, but we need to change the vision. And the vision is Qatar, where we now, where we now, how many play for the 23? Mm. Now, next World Cup, we're going to talk again vision, but it's not uh, uh, consistent or continuity in the national team. This is my only problem. 
And I want to stick with this topic of changing the vision. For many, many years, we've been hearing about Vision 2022, this big master plan to rebuild the structures within SAFA. Well, 2022 is very close around the corner. Are you then saying that SAFA have failed in that regard? Uh, in the moment, I don't see any vision. You know why? Because when you have players, and I say to you again, we 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 not criticize in this moment. Yes. But you looking, we see we see the jump ball keeper who is in the bench and lead the forward keeper who is in the bench in the national team for the future. Is no one under twenty three who is any center defense that we can have under twenty three or under twenty in the national team. I mean, for me, the more important is. The structure in the whole country. We had uh, uh, the night ratio, uh, SAFA had LFA, and we need to work from this. We need to give opportunity to everyone because if we look looking only player from the PSL, it won't be difficult. Mm. What, what happened with the other division? And the player waiting for opportunity. And another thing is our preparation for national team is very short period. We don't prepare a long period to our, to our national team to play it to high country. Never mind we lost, but the player need to have a spirit. But only player had a spirit when coming the difficult game to qualify for the World Cup or qualify for AFCO. And it is very difficult. Absolutely, Coach. It is very difficult. And one thing is clear, we've got a very tough mountain still to climb. Thank you very much for your time, Coach Augusto Palacios. That's all the sport for the moment. It's all yours, guys.